Thomas Moran, a celebrated American artist of the late 19th century, dedicated his life to capturing the beauty of the natural world through his breathtaking landscapes. Born in 1837 in England, Moran immigrated to the United States at the age of seven with his family. His early life was marked by the sights and sounds of the bustling city of Philadelphia, where he found himself surrounded by the energy and diversity of urban life. However, it was his first journey to the American West in 1871 that would forever shape his artistic career. Venturing into uncharted territories such as Yellowstone National Park, Moran was mesmerized by the vast, untamed landscapes and the sheer power of nature. The vivid colors, towering mountains, and roaring waterfalls left an indelible impression on his artistic sensibilities. It is no wonder, then, that Moran's artworks from this period reflect a deep appreciation for the grandeur and magnificence of nature. His painting Vera Cruz Harbor, completed in 1885, captures the serene beauty of a coastal town, while Under the Trees from 1882 invites viewers to step into a tranquil forest oasis. In his iconic piece Venice from 1890, Moran combines his fascination with both nature and human-made structures, depicting the ethereal beauty of the renowned Italian city. Similarly, a scene from Lalla Rook and from the Arabian Nights, both completed in 1891 and 1892 respectively, showcase Moran's talent for capturing the essence of exotic and mysterious landscapes. Returning to his American roots, Moran also immortalized the untamed beauty of the American West in artworks such as Mist in Canop Canyon, Utah from 1892 and Tuolumne River near the head of the Great Canon from 1890. These paintings reveal his continued awe for the untouched wilderness and his ability to evoke a sense of wonder in his viewers. In The Much Resounding Sea from 1884, Moran presents the awe-inspiring power of the ocean, a recurring theme in his works. Meanwhile, unto you that fear my name shall the sun of righteousness arise with healing in his wings, completed in 1882, showcases Moran's spiritual side, marrying his love for nature with religious imagery. Lastly, a glimpse of Georgica Pond from 1886 brings us back to Moran's East Coast roots, capturing the peaceful serenity of a Long Island landscape. Throughout his life, Thomas Moran's experiences and encounters with the natural world greatly influenced his art. His remarkable ability to capture the beauty, grandeur, and tranquility of the world around him continues to inspire and captivate audiences to this day.